Health and Human Services Secretary Javier Becerra was in the hot seat before a House Appropriations Committee. He faced a barrage of questions from pro-life lawmakers, from abortion funding to conscious protections for medical staff forced to perform abortions. Capitol Hill correspondent Eric Rosales brings us the highlights. Republican ranking member Congressman Tom Cole came out swinging. Let me be very uh, friendly but firm. Uh, no Republican will vote for a budget in the end that does not have the Hyde protections. Putting HHS Secretary Javier Becerra on notice about the lack of pro-life protections in the latest budget proposal. Catholic Congressman Andy Harris focused on the Vermont court case involving nurses refusing to perform abortions due to their religious beliefs. Congressman Harris says it's a case the Department of Justice dropped at the urging of HHS. This was an egregious violation of 10 nurses' conscience rights in being forced to perform abortions in, in clear contradiction of the law established by Congress. Later, when asked about the future of the Affordable Care Act, Secretary Becetta fired back, pledging to uphold the law for all. Whether it is the right of an LGBTQ person or whether it is someone who is claiming that there has been a violation of their religious freedom, we will do everything can we can within our Office of Civil Rights to protect the, those rights of, of Americans. Virginia Congressman Ben Klein questioned how could HHS allocate taxpayer money to Planned Parenthood if they perform abortions. Secretary Becetta testified they offer a wide range range of family planning programs that go well beyond contraceptive and abortion services. You don't view it as a disqualifier? All the other things you The fact that they provide abortions? Yes. If you are following the, the rules of the law and you qualify, you should be able to receive the funding. If you're providing family planning services, you should be able to get family planning money. The HHS secretary did testify he will uphold existing law on partial birth abortion. Finalizing the federal budget is likely to take months, but again, Republicans say if taxpayer dollars will be used to fund abortions here in the U.S. and abroad, they will not support it. Eric Rosales, EWTN News Nightly.